Yeah. So uh, Dr. Biot is going to talk about HIFO and vaginal relaxation syndrome. Okay, okay. Let me show my, okay. Do, do you see my, my slides? Yeah. Yes. Yes, we do, yes. Okay, uh, HIFO. HIFO intensity, uh, high intensity focused ultrasound in plastic gynecology is a subject of my uh, lecture. Thank you again for uh, inviting me. It's uh, an honor to be among uh, such eminent uh, figures of plastic, world plastic gynecology. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm really proud of it. So uh, I want to emphasize one thing, uh, very new thing that uh, this year uh, on April, uh, HIFO uh, made by uh, Hyronic, a Korean company, HIFO Ultravera, uh, has received a medical certification. It's the first HIFO device uh, with this medical certification. And from uh, this moment, from this part, we can uh, call it a medical device. Uh, and uh, it can be used in medical conditions such as, for example, vaginal laxity or stress, urinary incontinence. What are the, the, sub, the learning objectives of my lecture? High for aesthetic medicine, how does it work? Yot, Yot, can you enlarge your screen? It's too small. Could you? Enlarge your screen, the slide. Press on play. Yeah, make it on full, full, full. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay now? No. Uh, yes, good. Yeah. It's okay? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So. Uh, what, what really HIFO is? Uh, HIFO is an acronym coming from English uh, HIFO, uh, High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. Uh, I shortly recall you from physics that uh, ultrasound means acoustic wave of the frequency of over uh, 20,000 Hertz. And this wave can have energy from 0 0.5 to 60 joules per square centimeter. This uh, wave after being focused by acoustic lenses can be transmitted to a strictly defined targeted point in the tissue and what is very important and i'd like to emphasize it leaving the superficial layer during the recurse unaffected which is unique comparing uh, when you compare it to uh, other uh, avd devices there are uh, two effects of hypo uh, in uh, targeted tissue thermal uh, and cavitation effect and this latter effect cavitation uh, is caused by creation of small bubbles of vapor disrupting the tissue but with energy using in uh, aesthetic medicine this effect and you should remember it doesn't exist there is only deep thermal effect uh, which boosts fibroblast to produce uh, collagen and elastin and uh, in the probe taken from uh, buccal skin, the final effect, I mean uh, rise in the collagen production, is up to uh, 23% uh, when compared uh, before, before, before treatment. Uh, it is really, 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 really great, great, great effect. Uh, on this slide, we see two names, HIFO and NFU. HIFO, uh, in terms of um, physics, means uh, energy uh, over 40 joules per square centimeters. And this kind of HIFO uh, have been known in medicine for over uh, 20 years and is been using uh, to ablate tumors of different uh, localization. In this HIFO, uh, as we see here, the, the uh, depth of action is uh, almost two centimeters. Uh, and uh, it has been used to ablate tumors, uh, prostate tumors, breast tumors, and, and cast cancer tumors. But what we use in aesthetic medicine and we use in uh, gynecology is from physics point of view, it should be called microfocus ultrasound. Uh, and as we see on the slide, uh, the energy is uh, much, much lower uh, 0 0.4 uh, to 2 joules per square centimeters with the maximal range to, to 4.5 millimeters. And we must dis distinguish it. And remember that uh, this ablation, this cavitation effect 
doesn't exist uh, in uh, our gynecological de devices. We see here the, the curse of the uh, hive wave that it uh, goes through, through the tissue without affecting uh, them until it reaches the uh, so-called um, focal point when the energy is focused uh, to the temperature uh, 60 degrees of centigrade and this way boosting fibroblasts uh, to produce uh, elastin and uh, collagen. Here we see uh, an example of hypo action, this uh, focal point, in so-called uh, superficial musculoaponeurotic layer. It is a kind of fascia uh, in, the, in our face, which uh, model face, and this is the place when deep wrinkles are being created, and this is the place when the hypo can act, and uh, if you ask uh, the doctors who are involved in, in aesthetic medicine, uh, most of them um, uh, think that uh, HIFO uh, in improving uh, the face with uh, deep wrinkles are uh, the best uh, energy-based devices. Mechanism of action and uh, the, the stages after application HIFO are uh, very similar to those from um, RF or CO2 lasers. And namely, the first is inflammation, then proliferation, and uh, after six, eight weeks, uh, we have maturation and remodeling of uh, collagen and elastin. The first papers uh, concerning HIFO in aesthetic medicine appeared in 2007, and uh, HIFO was uh, approved uh, in 2009 by FDA for lifting the eyelid instead of surgical uh, blepharoplasty. Here we have a comparison between the HIFO and other uh, ABD. As we he uh, hear, uh, there is a cross-section on vaginal wall with uh, epithelium, lamina propria, fibromuscular layer, and adventia. And we see here that uh, lasers, both erbium and CO2, uh, act rather superficially. RF uh, can reach deeper to fibromuscular layer, but HIFO can uh, reach uh, almost whole uh, vaginal, vaginal wall, and namely um, lamina propria and fibromuscular layer. And we must remember that um, fibromuscular layer is this, this layer which is um, responsible for vaginal laxity, for cystocele, for rectocele, and uh, in early stages of uh, cystocele, rectocele, we, we, we can use HIFO with a very good effect. Of course, RF is um, very good too, uh, and I expect that um, the red uh, Alison uh, will confirm it. Uh, we we, we um, see uh, in his, uh, in his uh, lectures, uh, the effects of RF on vaginal wall, but uh, I'm convinced, I have been using the HIFO for two years, that HIFO is uh, at least as good as RF uh, in these conditions connected with vaginal laxity. Uh, everybody everybody uh, from, from audience, I think, uh, no, this uh, the, the vaginal wall structure. And uh, how, for, how, how does it look? It's a vaginal probe. Uh, there are three, three, uh, three uh, cartridges, uh, and each cartridge is designed for, uh, for different depth. Uh, 1.5, 1, uh, 3, and, uh, and um, 4.5 millimeters. You can ask me, uh, what is it for this um, 4.5 millimeters? Uh, as we know that vaginal um, wall thickness is three millimeters. It is designed to reach to the periuretral region, to the region uh, of uh, puboyuretral ligament, and uh, in my opinion, um, HIFO, this, this cartridge, uh, is the best option when we, um, 
when we consider uh, treating stress urinary incontin incontinence with FAD, the best option to treat it uh, because we know from physics and uh, from experiments that um, hypo can reach to be the place when the problem really, really is. Uh, from, from this uh, black, black field, the uh, hypo waves uh, are being uh, launched and in the tissue, the template, the, the tissue template, the tissue pattern, it, uh, is, it is uh, laid out. Uh, in a, it is a linear area uh, of the length 25 millimeters with 15 to 25 points. We can regulate, regulate the number of points and the distance uh, between them. And using the proper, the proper uh, card which we can reach to the to the um, strictly defined depth of the vaginal wall. What can can be indications uh, for hypo uh, in gynecology? It it can be uh, similar to other ABD devices, uh, vaginal relaxation syndrome, early stages of uh, cystocele, uh, early stages of rectocele. Um, early stages of stress urinary, urinary incontinence. Uh, in my, my practice where there is no need for uh, wearing pads. Uh, and uh, the vaginal probe can be uh, used uh, also uh, to rejuvenate, to improve the, the quality of um, perineal and vulvar, floppy vulvar, vulvar skin. Contraindications uh, typical uh, in gynecology infection, no plus bleeding, unknown uh, cervical uh, cytology. It's an example of a uh, central unit uh, with display. Uh, and my, my experience uh, concerning hypo uh, in not only, not only vaginal relaxation syndrome, but uh, in so-called female sexual disorder. Uh, in my study, we qualified uh, 32 women with uh, female sexual uh, disorder uh, after validating this group with female sexual function index scale. Uh, this patient was validated by, by sexologist. Uh, in our group before treatment, uh, I only remind the FSFI, the maximum uh, score is 36, 36, the minimum is zero, and 26 or lower means female sexual disorder. And in our group treat, before treatment, the score was uh, 21.4, and six weeks after second application of HIFO, it was 31.4. We must remember the maximum score is uh, 36, uh, as, as we uh, see from, from the figure, the jump is outstanding. Uh, but of course, it's a pilot study and we can, can come to, uh, to hasty conclusion, but uh, effects are really uh, encouraging. Another, another, uh, another study, an ongoing study concerning uh, hypo uh, influence on stress urinary uh, incontinence. We use, as I um, said before, a cartridge uh, 4.5 to read the region of pubo urethral ligament. And I hope the, the present, uh, the, the results uh, will be really be great. I, and I hope to present them uh, later, uh, maybe on uh, uh, our normal meeting. So I think that um, HIFO uh, will have uh, its place in um, plastic gynecology. Uh, summarizing, of course, further research are necessary, but as we look um, in the past uh, on the lasers uh, on RF, it seems to me that we, we walk uh, with HIFO with um, the similar path and as we see today in our practices, lasers uh, and, and RF uh, are our every, everyday devices. So I, I um, thank you very much for, for the possibility of presenting uh, this HIFO this presentation and uh, 
if you have any question, uh, free to ask me. Of course, I will try to, to, to ask the questions. Thank you very much.